Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we're at one of my all-time favorite spots, the stunning waterfall in Cork. I've been here countless times, but today's shoot is going to be a bit different from what you're used to seeing on this channel. You see, when I arrived, the location was packed full of people, so I had to adjust my style and approach to get the shots that I wanted. Sometimes, you just have to adapt to the situation at hand, and that's exactly what we'll be doing today. Now in this episode, I share some tips and techniques for capturing beautiful waterfall images, even when you're dealing with a busy location. We'll explore how to use different angles, perspectives and lighting conditions to make the most of your shoot. Plus, I'll be showing you how to get those dreamy long exposure shots we all love. Now, whether you're a seasoned photographer or just starting out, revisiting the same location can offer new insights and opportunities to improve your skills every time. I talk about the importance of returning to your favorite spots and how it can help you refine your techniques over time. Now, despite the crowd, we'll focus on capturing the intricate details of the waterfall and its surroundings. And I also share some tricks for shooting in various lighting conditions and how to incorporate the natural environment to add depth and interest to your photos. So stick around as we dive into the art of waterfall photography in a new and, I hope, exciting way. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this format. Your feedback is always appreciated and helps me to create better content for you. All right, let's get started. So let's see what amazing shots we can capture today. Thanks for joining and let's make the most of this beautiful, busy day. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And today we're visiting one of my favorite waterfalls to visit, a location that I've come to many, many times. And that's what I want to discuss today, how you can improve your photography through repetition. Now, one of the first advantages of coming back to a location many times is that you're always going to have different conditions. You're going to have different light. And like you can see here today, I've got different water. So it's a different flow of water. I was hoping it was going to be more, but there wasn't as much rain as I thought. So I thought that this would be interesting, but it still is interesting because it's revealed all of these rocks that are here below me. Now, one of the most exciting things about waterfall photography is that you can have different perspectives in your shots. So from the first one, it's a wide angle shot. You get everything that you see here behind me all inside in the shot. And then when you have the addition of light moving around that, it gives you a great overview of the entire area. Something I like to do quite a lot is to use my telephoto lens and to zoom in on a waterfall to pick out intimate details of the bigger scene. So those rocks and foliages that were actually framing the shot now become part of the image. Now it's important as well to recognize how lighting can affect your shots from a waterfall point of view. Today it's pretty much an overcast day so I don't have that much of hotspots or highlights to be able to deal with within the scene. However when I first arrived and got some shots I did have light flowing through so it's important that you recognize that with the light you have to expose for that light otherwise you'll end up blowing the highlights. And also, don't forget to visit a place at different times of the day. Now it's the afternoon for me here. I've come here before it's sunset, and I've also come here at sunrise. Well, not sunrise, but not long after sunrise. And the light will play a role in your shots at every time of the day, and moreover, different seasons. So here in autumn can be absolutely stunning. We're in the summer right now, and it's still stunning, with all those vibrant greens filling the shot. Now, 
Now, let's next talk about filters. So a filter that I would really recommend that you have from a waterfall point of view is your polarizer. Now, with a polarizer, it will take away the sheen from the water. It will also bring out the vibrancy in the greens and the colors that are within the frame. So a polarizer is definitely something that you'd have in your bag when you're going to photograph waterfalls. Now, you also want to be able to play with your exposure times and to capture some movement within that water. If I take just a relatively fast shot, you freeze the water. But if you go for a quarter second, half a second, or an eighth of a second shot, you can then get some movement in the water as it cascades behind. Additionally to that, you can put on your ND filters and get a longer exposure. So, like an ND uh, 10 stop will give you around five seconds of exposure in this light. And that can be nice as well because it smooths out all of that water in the scene. Now, it's also important that you play with perspective. So if you are up high, you'll get one view, but dropping down, then you can get a completely different view on the scene. And then you can start to utilize those elements that are there that were in your scene. So an example here is a shot that I've taken of one rock. I got down low next to it. The water then was flowing around it, but then I had some nice light. And that really gave me a different view to an existing shot that I'd already gotten. Now, it's also important as well that you make sure you get yourself into the action. So for argument's sake here, I'm normally wearing my Wellington boots, but I'm not wearing them today. But still at that same point, getting in close here, that's the rock that I would have had the focus on earlier on to get that shot. But get in, get into the action, don't come back far because you'll change the perspective on each one every time. Now on the top of this waterfall as well, as you can see, I've got two streams of water. So well, that's nice when you get light that comes into that as well. I think it will be overall interesting to see the different types of shots that I can get here today. They're gonna to be different to what I've gotten before, but at the same point, that's what I love about it because with photography, conditions will always change. Light will change, photos will change, and on this occasion, the flow of the water. Now the light is coming back again, so that's gonna give me a whole different set of shots once more. And finally, don't forget that you will make mistakes, but the more you do things, the better you can become. Having a location like I have right here to come back to is really helpful because it allows you to learn from your mistakes, practice over and over and over again. You will find that each time that you come back, you will get a different shot from the same scene. And you're also going to get better at composing and getting better as well at your post-processing. So go back to a location over and over again, particularly with waterfall, to master your photography techniques. So I hope you've enjoyed now my overview of what I would do to improve and master my waterfall photography. Thank you very much as always for joining. Please join me next Wednesday when I'll talk you through one of my edits from the scene in my Behind the Raw series. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, schlong the